Because uh, we just warmed up against Atmosphere then, and granted they didn't have Yellow, they had Turismo instead. Um, but they didn't seem like they had warmed up completely by the end of the game, so hopefully they'll fix that during this map. They're still playing fairly basic, unless they just didn't want to show us mad strats. They're playing pretty standard still. Oh, uh, you'll see the mad strats now. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. It's gonna be friggin. It's gonna be Max's boring default play versus D Man's strategy book. 48 pages of Dirty Bomb Genius, am I right? Pretty much. Atmospheres certainly don't like to change it up. They all they base all their all their wins off bloody aim. <laughs> yeah, they do. They love being an aim based class uh, team, rather. Kind of suits them though. So we are playing bridge first. I hate snap. Yeah. So we have a bushwhacker, field ops, an aura. No. Oh. No. I guess we aren't playing that map. No. Oh. Thank Enjoy God. That. Chapel, it is. I'm hoping that bridge is the last map. In the map set, in case it's like 2 2. Because I hate watching it, I hate playing it. Bloody Rhino. Some high skilled gaming there. <laughs> it does have a tremendously high skill cap. I have mentioned this many times in uh, my scrims versus other teams. I'm very pleased with how the class is designed. Yeah, so I feel like on Chapel, Wolf players have a pretty good chance of getting the first and second objectives up. Actually no, I'm going to take that back. I think Wolf players are going to struggle a little bit with the first and second objectives. On a, are they on attack? I can't even tell. Yeah, they're, they're on attack. Okay. So I feel like they're going to struggle on the first and second objectives and then I reckon they'll be able to do the third objective really fast if they get that far. That's what I'm feeling, because Atmosphere, they still have a lot of reliance on Max and Rico, and, or Rico, sorry, and with J-Kid on Sniper and JT on Sparks, um, they're actually putting on a lot of pressure on Rico and Max at range, which M4 isn't so great at anymore, so it sort of takes away that Atmosphere's two main players, that they basically, they base their whole plays around... Rico, Rico and Max, so if those players are having a hard time, the team has a hard time, so the third objective I feel like is going to be their weak point. We're changing servers too, going to server Shit. 2. Shit! While we're changing servers, shout out to uh, my boys, Integral Nation, the lads, and the dad. What's the everyone, do you know? Two. Number two. Ah, uh, yes. What are your thoughts on Chapel as a map? Honestly, one of the better ones out of the whole map yeah. pool. It was a lot of fun to play. Apart from the last phase, they could use some improving, but I don't have access to the game, so I can't fix it. <laughs> oh well. Thanks, Flash Damage. The first phase, they usually just give it up straight away. Push the tank out towards the MG outside the cafe and break it there. Usually. Oh, yeah. And if they can manage to build it again, they push it up to the corner, they break it there. That's the preferred spot where the uh, defenders will want to attack from. Or defend from, I should say. Sounds pretty cool. Then you get right outside the garage. That's even worse because you've got to run 10 years for the attackers. 
I hate the EV being stuck between Garage and the, the second goal. It is the most mundane thing to repair. You basically you just got to hope that you frag everyone all at once and then you, you go for the repair and hope that they didn't respawn straight away. Think of all that mad XP though. It'd be top oh, of the charts. It's a good point. You get more cases as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to answer OCE underscore YOLO swag XX, JT was a top TF2 player. I don't know if he was actually top, but I'm pretty sure he was a Division 1 Team Fortress 2 player, and he is known for playing a pretty crazy Sparks, and he's fairly new to the game. JKid is their sniper. I don't think they mix that up either. I think JKid is designated sniper. He also plays Fletcher, and his Fletcher's pretty good. Disgusting. Yep. It's too hard to see Fletcher's little explosives. I need to put a little glow on them, like all the other explosives. It's supposed to have a glow on it. Huh. So I'm blind. Uh, it just happens too quick that you don't see it. By the time he's already thrown it, it's already blown up in your face. Yep. He's pulled out his piss lock and now you're dead. Okay, party starts here. The MF lock, I like to call it. Alright. You know, loading up. You know Phoenix is allowed to be played yet? It's been a week, hasn't it? Uh, I think it's two weeks it has to be, doesn't it? For a new Merc to be allowed to be played. Huh. Don't mind me, I don't know the rules. Oh. Fairly certain it's two weeks. I'm sure someone in the chat will correct us for a anyway. Well, they'll all be lazy bastards. I wouldn't say anything. So, provide that. Yeah, so this is how it's going to work. So, with the first objective, Atmosphere tend to go for really aggressive plays, even on defense. They like to push bells really hard and gain control of um, basically their whole spawn area. And then, if they can, they also take control of bridge and then move on to EV if they get a good wipe. And they really try and choke the defenders from leaving their spawn. So, considering that wolf players are pretty good at with their aggression, like it'll be interesting to see if Atmosphere can still pull that kind of stuff off. Is your overlay off? My stream is frozen. I can't tell. Yeah, it's off. We it's actually have four in the main road at the moment. Just chilling down there. We got one at Bell Tower. Two behind the tank. Max pushes up, tries and take out the NG, but doesn't work, but the tank is repaired. Yeah. G gets uh, revived by the medic. Dingman gets taken out. So that was a very good first push from Wolf players. They managed to get the wipe off and the repair on the first wave. Oh, got a pause already. No name, Rage no name has disappeared. Yep, sad enough. Classic security violation. Thanks, splash damage. Well, Nexon, actually, we have to thank for that. What was that? That was just under 40 seconds for that tank. Yeah, I think that's almost the, uh, the quickest time you can get. I think it's like 36 is if you run from spawn straight to the EV and repair it with no hassles. So, very good job from Wolf players so far. Um, but the first objective is obviously not the hardest on this map. I'm going to say the second is. The third is probably in pub. But the, if if you have good teamwork, like good communication, you know what you're doing, the third objective actually isn't too bad to push into. So, um, from my experience, Atmosphere now are really going to try and just dominate this red office area and not let the EV pass top street. They don't like giving up office very fast. So, whereas we will let the EV, like my team personally would let the EV just go past top street and then we defend from the bottom street for a long time. Um, atmosphere feel like they're, they're that good that they don't need to back off too early. So 
they'll put up a lot of a fight here, I think, even versus Wolf players. He's pretty surprised Iceman's on Sparks. He can't even play the check, according to him. Yeah, well, he can't play Sniper, so I can't imagine his Sparks be too good. <laughs> Lemon is usually their Sniper. Yeah, Lemon's good, man. He's a good Sniper. I guess Iceman was just fed up of getting zapped. He wants to try it out himself. There are some pretty juice spots that you can be with um, Sparks as well, where you can't really get hit, but you can still revive all your team on the field. So, um, one instance I've seen of it is when they... Usually you'd put a sniper up at the Chapel MG if you're feeling confident, but if the Sparks hitbox is so small that you can actually crash behind the MG and not get hit. So you can sit at the Chapel MG and just res all your team along the street and still zap people without any fear of getting killed unless they've got a really good sniper. Balanced character. Mm hmm. Anything different here? We thought I saw a Kira on here somewhere. Must have been on Tongue's list. Ah, uh, Merc selection. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be right. Tongue does run Kira sometimes. Tongue's actually a pretty good player. He's a little bit underrated. Um, our team prefers to call him a spastic because um, he manages to outfrag us a lot by jumping around. But in reality, he's like just really good at aiming. Uh, he's one Get of those the... players, is he? Yeah. 80 ping, jump up and down, use the crotsney. 16 years old, can't miss a thing. Hyped up on sugar from uh, lunchtime. That cordial into ya. <laughs> so are we waiting on time? Yeah. I need DC as well. What they say? Nothing really. No. Oh, it's. You only it's... assume it. Having some action. issues with the uh, the game, hopefully, and not with his ISP, because internet issues in Australia don't seem to resolve themselves very quickly. We can just do a demon and run down to the, uh, the bloody land cafe. <laughs> hey guys, I'd like to buy three hours for um, my dirty bomb finals. Is he playing from there at the moment? He's got his internet now. Yay. And Lemon hasn't broken his monitor again. <laughs> what? what, from Rage? Nah, I just died on him apparently during one of the uh, matches. Yeah, I'm sure it was, yeah. Just died, yeah. Actually, I think it was against Wolf players last time. Where they paused him for him in the last like 90 seconds or something. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was like, it didn't even matter at that point. Game is already over. I think Nadius is having internet issues at the moment, who's an atmosphere player, which is why they're playing with yellow. Although, personally, I think that yellow is, like, probably the, the best aimer on atmosphere after Rico. I wouldn't say he's above Max, but he's better than Nadius yeah, anyway. And we're about to start again. Yay! Alright, video games. I like video games. Come. And because of that, No Name and Tongue get to miss out on this spawn. So they're yep. down for 15. Rico TK but, uh, is his teammate. I got a super early first objective, so... Rico chilling around the ammo racks at the moment. J-Kid on Sniper. Oh, he's on sniper, is he? Yep. Yeah. We would run sniper sometimes trying to get the uh, EV up, but that was only if Atmosphere were playing overconfident because you could get an easy pick on Max, who's like their best player at holding straight, so. Take it, take it. Interesting... Uh, Rico Sorry, in the meantime. Yeah. And Yellow's down for a long spawn. Jakey gets taken out. Straight on the repair again. 
Max's oh, airstrike Max should up. be up. Yeah, he's on a short spawn, so it'll be alright. And Rico's chilling just in front of the tank. Uh, are they splitting up? Ooh, Ice Man just destroyed JT then, from bottom straight to top straight. But uh, JT has revised, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Sparks on Sparks action. Atmosphere actually gave up office pretty fast then, which uh, puts all my words before out the window. JT takes out Lemon. Mm. Good shot. Yeah, I don't know if their airstrike was still on cooldown, because I thought it wasn't. Yeah. Here we go, it's done it now. Okay, road, rotate their airstrike. Honestly, they probably would have wanted the EV to be a little bit further before they airstriked it, just because where it currently is, if you have control of um, Garage, you don't need to have... Like, you can still have uh, players on the other team alive and just sit behind it, you're pretty invisible, but I don't think they wanted to take that risk, just airstrike it straight up. Yeah, it's currently blocking the left alleyway. So people from there can easily get through. Yeah. Until they run into Rico in the garage. I appreciate it. Jake takes out time. lemon. Reloaded. Takes out lemon for a full spawn actually. Whoa. Jacob's good at this sniper. Not good enough. They go pummeling everyone. Those get gibbed. So this EV is gonna be up and repaired and it looks like it's being Put into the uh, the second goal here. This is actually a, another quite fast objective. And if my words are correct, I think they're not going to have too much issues with the third objective either. So we'll see how that plays out. You got Iceman over at the garbage truck at the moment with two other people. Iceman takes out the sniper. And it's about to get taken out by the sparks. Tongue gets Ooh. dropped. D-Man somehow made it to bust, but uh, he's going to pay for that one with a long spawn, so that's a bit unfortunate for him and his team. Rico doing his classic uh, push out of Cubby into the opponent's spawn and gets him fragged, which the pocket's managing to do pretty well. Yeah, no name nades him in the return. Someone. No name's just in the front entrance at the moment shooting at Max. Yeah, Jacob gets taken down to Cubby trying to get some cheeky picks. All in short spawns though, so it's well and good. Lemon's chilling behind the rock. Max is in his spawn. JT being an annoying little bastard here. Jakey takes out Lemon again. Yeah, it's, they should be pushing off of this frag. Anytime you get a gib as attack, you should be pushing straight to rock or to bus. And they're doing that pretty well. Still getting frags. Max is going to kill No Name though. It's going to make this a bit tougher. It goes down and out. Yeah, but, but so is four players and more players, lol. <laughs> classic atmosphere trade. Most of your team for Rico. Always worth it. Yeah. It then is. you gotta <laughs> go against Max. And then Lemon. And then Ice Man. It's like going through the Elite Four in Pokemon, am I right? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Rico gets a double on a no name and tongue. JT's getting smashed at the generator. So I'm interested as to why um, Iceman isn't running sparks here anymore. If you put Iceman up on this ramp, he can res every. Ooh, Max got the fuck up. Yeah, sparks is really good on this ramp. Wolf players making a good push out here at the moment. And uh, they should be able to get this objective in pretty easily. And then they have to decide if they want to hold rock or if they want to do another retake. I think holding rock would be the better option for them here because they've still got four players ready. Yeah, one just spawned back to get the dots. Yep. He's going main way actually. Ah, uh, they're getting intercepted. If we had enough of him. No docks for you, buddy. No name takes. Iceman takes out no name and Lemon takes out JT. Yep. Tongue and... slashes for spawn. That's it for that push. Still, they did very well. Wolf players looking strong. A good start for them. No name gets taken out inside Cubby. 
gimped. Rico gets pistol whipped by JT. Jake going for some more chicken snaps from Bridge. Max is fairly predictable with how he moves on ramp, so I'd like to see j -Kid try and focus on Max a little bit more than the other players. If you kill the ramp player, they just lose so much coverage and vision. And I think that's how they made their last push. JT sniped Max and Wall as well after that for the Wall players. Rico seemed to have tapped out there. Oh, yeah, yeah he had to make Makes sense. No name and tongue are all but dead in the main section. Main entrance. Tongue's coming through it from Cubby. No name and JT get taken out. Jake it uh, insta gives yellow. D man trying to get stuff done. He does kill Rico, he doesn't give him, and then gets uh, airstrike, so we'll be back up in a sec. Trying to take out this turret from Cubby before they get to the rock, which would make their lives a lot easier, but I think Lemon's turret is back up anyway, so you can just put another one down if he has enough time. Tongue gets smashed, which means that he had their name is going to have a hard time. He does, and they have to actually leave the uh, objective there as well. So they're going to have to try and retake control of Cubby if they want to be able to get anything done, and Jake gets a nice round of yellow. Yeah, he's down for 20. Mm. The wolf player should be looking to regroup and push off of this. Rico uh, isn't having any of their stuff today though. Kills a couple of players. They do eventually trade him off. They've regained control of Rock. Really good for wolf players. Can they break through the wave no. of atmospheres? They're gonna get flanked. Oh, flank it bus here. Doesn't matter, can't do enough with it. That's the push over. And they're leaving the docks there for a little while. Just in front of, uh, actually just behind the, the uh, rock. Yep. So that was nice, but they, um, wolf players lost their medics earlier than they should have. The medics kind of got ahead of the other fraggers a bit. And uh, when your medics are down, your push has become a lot weaker because one life is one life. Each player after the next video. And Rico takes out No Name and J Kid, I think it was. Yes. So they actually dropped the sniper. He figured he wasn't doing enough with it. Yep. He picks up a double nade as well. He's still uh, here for more. He does get taken down. The medics are reviving people as well, so his actions there are actually not paying off too much. Besides so slowing down a push a little bit. Made a bit of a room there, but as you know, it's a short spawn, and Max is sitting over it on the ramp there. Yep, being a little pest. Rico takes out tongue with a grenade. Airstrike on bus. Max counter airstrikes to stop them from making an instant push, um, but they actually they swindle it pretty easily, and then get minced at rock. <laughs> What would Integral Nation do to change it up here? Um, so typically what we would do, if our splits aren't working properly, but we're still getting sniper damage or sniper picks, we won't trade the sniper away, we would keep it. And instead of working off of a pick, we would deal, we would hide all of our players, get some damage done to force a medic away from somewhere, or to a position where we, we think that the medic would go to, and then play around their player position. So for example here, I would deal damage to Max to get the medic at Rock, over to the right side of Rock, and then us as five players would push from Truck over towards Rock, um, while the medic isn't around to help Lemon out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta try and catch them off guard if your standard plays aren't working. Rico goes down on a long spawn. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, that spells bad news, perhaps, yeah. An airstrike on the rock, but there's any. Well, only D man left. Everyone out for wolf players now. Yep. Uh, that's actually pretty bad for wolf players because they've wasted their airstrike and Max still has his up. So. That's an extra, you know, 10 seconds or so that Max can save her for his team. Jake is reverted back to sniper. He's had enough of playing the airstrike. Yeah, I think maybe they just did it to circumvent the um, the cooldown 
on the sky ammo. That's fair enough. Yep. I think D Man was on the oh. nade, wasn't he? Take your decks out yellow. But he's on the spawn, yeah, so that's fine. Rico picks up a double one nade. Of classic nades, yep. Oh, he actually gets half spawned there. It's a little bit of a ballsy play. North player's taking a little bit too long to get to D-Man's aid there. He had to fight three players by himself and didn't manage to trade anyone for it. Died. And that's gonna force Wolf to stay at truck, they can't push off this. No name's just chilling at the front entrance, but he has no medic with him. He has a FOPS, but yeah, there's no medic, he can't get health from him. Yep. So he just slashes for spawn, D-Man goes down as well, so there's JT. Atmosphere doing a good job of um, paying attention to the spawn timers like usual. They they hide almost straight away after the spawn timers go up because they don't want Jkid to long spawn anyone. Which is all good stuff, but um, Jkid should be taking note of that and throwing his heartbeat sensors while everyone is hiding so that they don't get killed straight away. The heartbeat sensor is a very useful utility for the sniper when you want to get good picks. Cleared out the rock for now. Max takes out JT with another airstrike. Iceman goes down as well. No name also yeah. gets downed. So it's a 3v2 at the, the moment. You can just see the strength of this ramp position though. Max is able to hit everybody at every position from here. And he was just wasn't being contested because there weren't enough wolf players alive. I love this part. We're back to default. Demon had enough of Sky Hammer again. It's back on to Neta. It's not such a bad idea because Atmosphere are showing that they're not wanting to be too aggressive right now, so using the Neta to try and get those nades around all the hardy spots, deal some good damage, and then push out. The thing is that they're not being able to deal enough damage and they're not finding an answer for Max. Three of them get absolutely destroyed at the rock. Yeah. Atmosphere is just going to leave the documents for a little while. Iceman's returning it now. Rico with his geek nade. Doesn't get anyone, but frags up a storm anyway. Him and Yellow are pretty, pretty deadly combo when it comes to aim. Yellow is actually a terrifying medic to play against. Oh yeah. That's uh, pretty much the end of this round. Yep. This fear just gave up the first two sections and decided to, okay, we'll, we'll play now. We'll just, we'll hold the third part. Yeah, they actually ended up doing the inverse of what I said, where I thought they'd have a hard time in the first and second objectives and breeze through the third. They actually had an exceptionally easy time on the first and second objectives. And it seemed like they were going to do well on the third objective, but they couldn't get the second half of the third objective down, so. But, I mean, if they manage to hold the third objective themselves fairly well, then the first and second objectives shouldn't be too hard for them to beat on defense. This is a very doable map for wolf players to take. Rico, you only his casual 40, 40 kills. I think Max went 22 and 8. Oh, was that Max went 22 and 8? Yeah. <laughs> He's a nerd. Alright, so we got the second half underway here. Um, atmosphere, from my knowledge, pretty much play this very standard. They send pocket bells, and they send everyone else straight. They like to have a nader on the street to kill people that are in yellow. It's very, very basic stuff, so unless they've got something new to show us, I wouldn't be expecting a super fast first objective. Demon takes out Matt, gets a double kill actually. That's her MG down. Rico gets yep. taken out an MG rep on MG balcony. That NG being given early already secures the first objective win for um 
for wolf players basically, yeah. So, great start for them as, as last half. Then this gear get full wiped. Wolf players are actually going to camp around the CV a bit, they're playing a little bit choky. As in they're trying to choke the air in the opponent's spawns. No one's going that way though. We've got two main, yeah. one in bell tower and one just outside bell tower watching the tank. Yellow takes down tongue. Rigo trying to be a pest at Bells, and he does manage to do so. No name gets caught off guard there. Yeah, he's down for 25. He goes down for 15, but he's ungibbed at the moment. Gets revived by Iceman. Interesting decisions by Iceman there. Trying to do his life for Rico. Yep. Worth it. But a little bit late, he could have uh, done that without getting himself killed. So, Atmosphere already have control of top office, which is a pretty good sign for getting that EV up and around the street without too much hassle. So if you have office, you have top street basically. It's, it's a great place to have a lot of coverage, but um, you guys destroyed, so just last minute there now, I think. Or yellow, sorry. Do you have admin? I don't have admin. So I don't have a password. Just don't tongue DC. Tongue's had enough. So from my camera point here, seems like Atmosphere are going to have a pretty easy time getting CV up around the top street. Can't see too much resistance happening, especially with now the tongue's going to be spawned with J-Kid. Have, I even, have you even seen an airstrike go off yet? Yeah, an airstrike went off uh, about 10 seconds, well maybe a little bit less, like 5 seconds before this, the pause happened. Um, half of it hit the ceiling above where the EV just came out though. It's a bit unfortunate. Well, D-Man's gonna have to bloody shoot it down. With his nader rounds. <laughs> Some quality Australian discussion going on in chat right now. We'll get Tony Abbott to play for us. He doesn't have a job now. Yeah, exactly. You can become a full-time professional Australian dirty bomb gamer. And they're swapping tongue out for Presh. For Presh, yeah. It's gonna hurt him a bit. Presh is uh, some old, old bones. Yeah, he's like currently playing from his retirement <laughs> home. <laughs> he's still pretty good. Presh has some brains in him, but um it's still gonna be it's, i think it's still gonna impact because when you you're playing with your five players and you're in the match you're in the mode you're all working together and then suddenly one of your players gets changed kind of it breaks the chemistry a little bit they're gonna have to warm back up as as a team i think but it's nothing that these guys can't get over it also brings in a different merc set as well no, no. yeah he's running sniper well he'll use it because he sucks they got jake here for that he has uh, Aura, which he's pretty damn good at. Yeah, Aura's good for the third objective, set it up around rock. Hope it doesn't get airstroke, good old times. Sometimes it's even pretty good around bus, but I feel like it's better at rock. Because uh, the players can shoot more people and get healed for free. And no mullers. That blue shock headshot damage is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, actually pisses me off so much. I get outplayed so often by good auras. Gets me rattled. So, what's taking them selling the time in? Pressure actually connected? No, he hasn't. He still gets zero ping. But he won't load in unless it's unforced, right? Oh shit, Rico's level 40. 
Yeah, he's a gigantic nerd. And there's Rick, oh, Iceman letting his team down with level 16. Same level as me. And we're timing back in. Yay. When, when he unpauses it. Come on. He's forgotten the command. Any moment now. Bloody as if he baited me. Ziff got DDoS. Oh, Rick actually got gibbed there. I thought he was in the middle of getting revived. Hello takes that D man up at the, uh, the cafe. Decides to shoot this guy for a moment. No, Atmosphere still have con control of the street for the moment, but it seems like more players are making their way straight into office. Oh, the airstrike goes off. Evie is taken down. Jake hits Sticky Bomb's ice, man. Just, just snaps Max in the head. Picks up a triple for his time. What's his name? D Man went for a pretty, pretty keen play there. Didn't, didn't go too well, but his team managed to capitalize on it, so that's alright. Rico trying to get what he can done. And just get himself out of trouble somehow. I don't know how he survived that. Taken out by Presh. Ooh, you're yeah, like a song spawn. spawn yeah. yeah. JT just shooting medics left and right, it seems. Levin picks up double, Presh and D-Man. Yep, yeah, JT just constantly reviving the people that are falling down. Doing a very good job for Wolf. Rico's actually behind him at the moment from that, uh, that old ammo racks. Jump. Yeah, he's the most annoying player in Australia. I'm giving him that. I reckon if he didn't start shooting them, he would have gotten away with that. Yep. You always wait until the team's in combat because they take way too long to respond. And if they got bad communication, you can get a whole team wipe on them with that flank. But he screws up a bit, gets long spawn, it's going to make this push a lot harder down the street. Rico's in the right alley. He's waiting for his medic ice. Uh, not ice, man, yellow. We're getting the repair up now. Oh, Jake, it snaps Rico to the face. He's down. Rico will be right, sorry about that. Oh, he loves a good snipe around to the head. <laughs> Worst balanced part of the game. Yellow takes out No No. He's still ungibbed. He man also gets dropped. Well, Rico hops in the MG. Shoots a bunch of people, keeps shooting a bunch of people, no one else who shoots more people. They get the they get the objective in only a few seconds later than um than wolf players, but now they've still got the pressure on them to get the, the first objective in. Or the first what do you call them? Drugs? I'm calling them drugs. To get the first drugs in. Uh the re EMP charges apparently. Yeah, EMP. splash damage can get fucked. EMP can now. smelt, about melt steel beams. Oh. <laughs> Lemon gets smashed by two people. And he's actually just handed them the docks at the rock. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Atmosphere actually being relentless here. Yeah. Just full of aggression. See you, Rico. Take it out enough. Lemon swapped up to Sniper at the moment. Don't think he'd be good enough to counter Snipe Jake kid though. Or even JT on his bloody sparks. Yeah. I think Lemon's job at this point though is not to get big picks, it's just to keep the sniper occupied so that the other players can maneuver around and actually do stuff without just getting killed instantly. Or whether you can do that or not. Find out. We can't, because he got destroyed by Jacob instantly, so now Jacob's just back to free reign. Jacob, uh, Iceman takes out Jacob and. In return, gets take that, taken out by JT. Yeah. <laughs> well, no name with a nice nade there. Kills and gives Rico. Yellow's gonna fall down after him, and now it's a three man push because they, they feel like they still need to push off this for some reason. Iceman just death balls it through mid. Bloody feeder. Max will get yep. put on a long spawn here. 
or should be put on a long spawn. Max playing just like how he does in Dota 2, I think. I know I'm just playing outside of Cubby House, but he hasn't. Oh, now he gets mid pack. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like playing uh, inside Cubby like Ricker does. They're opting for the frag a trade here. Fresh's actually going to get the better of yellow, so pretty good hold there at Cubby. That's going to pretty much stop this push because the other players are going to be able to kill the rock. Dudes, no worries. Nice man, should have considered. Taking the EMP charges back a bit further before dying. Make it easier to hold on to them, but I think that's still. Oh, they actually timed out, did they? Yeah, they got reset. And Lemon picked them back, back up again. Is JT being a nuisance? He's bloody. Yeah, just back it for a sec. JT, there you are. There's bloody it's railings, hard. you can't hit anything through them. Yeah. Ooh, Funtron gets a nice shot of J Kid there. It's gonna give him a good pushing opportunity. And Donair goes down as well. This is this is Atmosphere's time. If they want to get something done, they have to do it now. And that's Iceman delivering them now. Yeah, Rico, that's gonna be the first charge, isn't it? Rico's picking them up, up from spawn. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit slow to reinforce. I wonder if they're gonna try intercepting Rico like Atmosphere did to them after the first charges. He went through Cubby House, not Main Road. Ah. So he is starting to get shot. But his whole, the whole enemy team there. Mm. I don't know if Iceman had no health packs then or something, but he should have at least tried to kill and revive Max before going down. Just do anything, but I guess they all wanted to respawn at once, so they gave it up. But, uh, so, does the um, does the draw rule count the the first EMP charges? At the moment, it's currently drawed. Okay. So they both delivered one. Yep. And again, I don't know the rules. I'm just going off by what I see. You change every day. Yeah. Atmosphere just get clean wiped there. How much they could do? Yeah, we got no name just chilling at garbage truck, and the sniper's pushed up quite a bit. He takes out Ice oh. Man. He's gonna be salty after that. <laughs> yeah, Jacob's playing very aggressively with this um, sniper, but he's playing it. He's always playing it in positions where if he can get a pick, he can generally drop back without taking much damage. So I feel like. I feel like he's playing really well. He's just making it so hard for Atmosphere to really get out and do a five man push. It's always a four man push. But it kind of sucks because that's all on Lemon's shoulder when you think about it. Rash gets taken down at the garbage truck. Lemon's still over there. We got two in the cubby house. It's about to go down, there we go. And Gibbed. That's we go yep. down for 20. So atmosphere, really not doing anything that they... Like, they're not doing anything new on this map, and they're, they're just... They're paying for it. They're predictable. Wolf players are exactly what they're doing. They're just countering it. All the wolf players are hitting their shots. Just making it really tough for Atmosphere to get through. And then takes out Rico and and Yellow in Cubby House. You got Iceman yep, over near the underground ammo racks. With the sniper, yep. And so is Max actually. They're both there. Just waiting for Rico and Yellow to get back into the fights. Seems like they're being met by No Name here. Oh, no name gets skipped. This could be a time for atmosphere to try to get something done. They're going all out. Crash does some funky moves, but uh, doesn't manage to actually end up giving Rico them. Well, kill the sniper. 
Die. Thank you. Yeah, so Jake gets put on a long spawn. That's actually gonna make it a lot better to push this there. Levin swapped it up to the Anaida now rather than the sniper if he wasn't doing anything worthwhile with it. Which he wasn't. Yeah. He decided it was time to put it away, which is fair enough. Try and mix things up. They start getting a move on soon though. Yeah, they don't have too many more pushes they can do, and if they keep getting like players picked or they keep losing cubby like this, they actually they're not being able to go for pushes at all because it's only half their team that's still being left alive. Yeah, yellow and Max just been sneaky at the garbage truck and the ramp generator. Just waiting for the rest of his team. Rico gets taken out by No Name. No Name takes yeah. out Yellow as well. Seems like Rico's just not playing like how he usually does. I think some of the pressure, maybe not the pressure, <laughs> the, the pressure <laughs> has got to him, but um, he's just not hitting his shots. No Name is. I'm watching too much anime, not enough Dirty Bomb. Ah. Oh. Sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta sit back and relax, man. Some good old Japanese animation. Thank you. Watch it for the plot. Oh, yeah. What do we got? We got? Have you got one of those boobs mouse pads? I wish. We got four garbage truck and. Oh, we don't. We don't have four garbage truck. We had two at Cubby House and the rest at Garbage. We had the sniper on spawn ramp. Demon at rock. Press just chilling there next to the red bus. Yeah, no name. I'm both Jake and no name trying to delay this push here. This is a very risky play. They actually had both end up getting taken out instead of being cheeky. I'm actually surprised that Nate didn't even get anyone. No. That should be delivered. Oh, that's a solid nade. Yep, Push. but Airstrike just cleaned up everyone at bus as well. That's gonna be that. Wow, so... Nice! Actually, Jkid and No Name are the reasons that they lost that map. <laughs> they got way too overconfident, they pushed out too far, they got taken down and then Atmosphere capitalised on it instantly. They didn't... Wolf players didn't pay attention to Max's um, Airstrike. Two people got taken out from bus and then it was D-Man versus the world. That was a pretty good first map. Wolf players were looking really strong. Seemed like Atmosphere was struggling, but they uh, they did what they did best. Just forced a mistake. Punished them greatly for it. So this, did you catch what map was the second one that we were going to play? Um, I don't think they picked all the maps straight up. I think they're just picking as they go. Because it's best of five, so like, there's no vetoes or anything. Mm -hmm. Please don't be bridge, please don't be bridge. Um, whose pick was that first map, you know? Atmosphere, I think. Okay. I'm just gonna dog you for a sec, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be right back, people. What does Twitch chat think? Who's going to win? First map went to at Atmosphere, so it's currently 1-0. I need to update that. Yeah. You put all your skins on Atmosphere, did you swag?
Thanks, Exxon. I am back. Just in time for us to look at the lobby some more, because I still haven't oh, played the bloody map. That's good. JT's had enough. Yep. Retired. Mum's pulled his internet plug out. <laughs> Go to bed. Yeah, skill tomorrow. Guess that's what happened with tongue as well. Naturally. Oh, we got an underground. Underground is another good map for J Kid, but uh, not because of Sniper, because of Fletcher. Fletcher can be a right, right nuisance on this map. Oh, they actually subbed out JT for Tongue. I can't agree with that. We should have got rid of Zephyr. Molly wants to shout out Lemon. JT is just was doing so much work with that Sparks. I guess maybe he can't play any other classes and they don't want Sparks for Underground, perhaps? It's the only thing I can think of. I would have dropped uh, J-Kid if that was the case. He was... Ah, uh, uh, not J-Kid. J-Kid's a bloody Fletcher. Oh no, he's the sniper as well. That's who I was thinking of. We're doing a bloody... Dot vs Yoi, where you just swap the whole team after each round. The blind dice man got his hopes up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's more than 69, but 69 is a cool number. It's a really funny number. It's a really funny one. Can I ask Zephyr who would be in the ins oh, his DB team? Sure, Zephyr. Who's going to be in the Australian DB team? Pretty sure he's in the stream. I don't know what's holding up these players. Guess Iceman's putting his kids to bed. Fresh putting his dogs to bed. Um. Putting all that sweet money you made from CS today. S swimming in it. <laughs> what does Rico do for a living, do you know? I actually have no idea. Professional anime watcher, probably. That's what I was thinking. I think Iceman goes to uni, learning, teaching or some shit. Oh no, he's going to have to put up with tongue every day. I could never be a teacher, I don't have the patience. Lemon's calling you out, Volcano. Okay, no? Valid. Just gotta watch porn during the off peak times. Get the extra fast buffering speeds. Gotta watch that Ultra HD.
There we go. What is this discussion that's going on in the Twitch chat? I don't know. It's Twitch chat, I don't really pay attention to it. I think they're arguing about um, stopwatch times. Oh. Tiki style role plays as Rhino Naked. You I reckon I'd pay for some pictures. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't, but I look at it. I do cure her every now and then. Okay. I've got more of a uh, an aura physique. Well, howdy. So I can't really role play Rhino. But I make a damn fine aura. Independent black woman who needs no man. Yep. I don't need other people to heal me. I've got a fucking vision. I thought bloody Zephyr was going to answer that question for you, Bender. So I can't do yeah, it right so now. It does look like they actually subbed out JT for Tongue. I'm just going to go with my theory that JT can only play Sparks and they don't want Sparks on this map. Which I'm guessing means that they're going to be doing a lot of hard pushing. Because Sparks obviously isn't the greatest if you're going to be offensive with your teammates. They're more of a sit back and let the other, like your team do the work and res them when they die. Yeah, true, true. Play like a little beach. But it works. We have someone else in, in game now. We've got Glitter Fart here. Eh, yeah, I'd pay to see that. He's in spec. Apparently yeah. that's a ref. Okay. Never heard of him, but we'll play with it. We've got a standard right. rollout, apart from Jake who's playing on Fletcher at the moment. Yep. Flash has become dropped. a lot more popular recently. Go also get skipped as well. He's down for 15. Yeah, I must be having a bit of a struggle here. They get the plant down as well. Yep, yeah, first spawn. Just like last map, getting everything down the first go. Fortunately for atmosphere retaking, it's not too bad on this map. Depends about your timing. Yep, yeah, we're getting an easy defuse here, I think. Oh, we got no name on the roof. Well, I thought wrong. Max is just chilling outside, but he slashes for spawn. How long is left on that? 15 seconds, roughly? 20? Yeah, they, they've only got this spawn to work with. Oh. Pressure doing some good damage there, but doesn't manage to take anyone out. I guess defuse. Doesn't even... no fear. D-Man tries to go for a slow defuse, but he takes out Lemon with him. He does what we like to call the counter chenny. So, um, in this case, the counter chenny is where you martyrdom someone on the other team instead of someone on your own team. Oh, so he actually gets kills? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Max picks up a double. And they're contesting straight from the bomb site. Jake got pretty keen there, but it was on the shore respawn, so it makes sense. Yeah, a bit too keen. D Man trying to use Nada to clear roof. Seems to work out alright, but Rico's having none of it being on balcony. He'll lay down the hurt from afar. Being a pesk. D Man just barges straight through there. Gets nothing from it. Roof control goes back to atmosphere. Jacob's going to have a long spawn there. That wasn't a very wise play. Oh. He didn't wait for his team to do anything at all. He just ran in. What happened there? He didn't have any communication on who was on roof. Yep. Well, his two teammates that he did have that have up there, they weren't actually on the roof at that time. Well, oh, Ricker gets long. We put a bit of strain on atmosphere to defend here. Fresh swap is, swaps up for the um, aura. Wants that uh, sustained healing on the roof when he gets up there. Jake here goes down again. But so do three of 
Oh, the atmosphere. Max is about to be long. He's a long now, yeah. Max is long, but he trades uh, two players for it. They both get revived, but the Nora station is now in the room. Gets naded away. Along with Tongue. Yellow picked up. Uh, uh, Rico picked up double, and Yellow pe picked up another. No name's just chilling on the roof, but he slashes for spawn. Pretty good defense by Atmosphere so far. Seems like they're a little bit shaky, but as long as they're stopping the plants and getting the fuses, doesn't really matter how shaky you are. Jake it over at high ammo racks and he tries to go one for one with Ice uh, Rico and he gets smashed for it. D Man gets taken down. A wave of reinforcements coming. They can't push up too far because they're still on a half spawn now. Now they can start yeah. pushing up. You can push on the roof here. Yeah. Oh, D Man just drops into uh, the room while he's reloading. Not the smartest. Tongue knife's lemon. Get yeah, lemon gets a uh, long spawn there. No, no. Slow plants, but Enrico TK's ice man. That's what he gets for not healing properly. <laughs> Jacob being the annoying Fletcher. Gets the frag, protects the plant. Things are looking a bit cool, players. Yellow's Plane station to... put down at a debatable spot. Yellow's about to go down for 15 seconds. So is D man. But he's only the NG, so at this point in time he's not that useful, unlike the yellow medic. Yeah, Rico overextended there and didn't, didn't get punished for it. I think Wolf player should have communicated that a bit better. Oh. Come on. Yeah, nice. I guess the no name couldn't really sacrifice himself there because of the spawn timer. Clear out roof once more. That's the end of that push again. <laughs> Jacob slashes out of here. Yeah, but he puts Doesn't himself on a long off. spawn. <laughs> yep. He's seen better days. He just clears off the roof and puts shit on my roof. I'm feeling like pressure isn't doing enough with the aura. The healing station is not healing people enough. So I think he should probably switch to another class for now. Yeah, you can only really go back to Sawbones. His sniping's not that great. Jacob gets a double. Yeah. Even Sawbones is better. There's just more fragging power. That's what they're having issues with at the moment. They're getting plants down, but they can't defend because they're just getting out fragged. Atmosphere got into their groove finally, it seems. It's bloody Fletcher. How annoying are they? Well, we got a plant down. Usual spot behind the pillar. I honestly prefer to put it on the front, that way you can defend it easier. You can even use Kira and Artie from that position. But Good car work. got taken down too fast. But you work with what you got. I've actually got Max on Fletcher. I've never seen him on Fletcher. Nice man playing on balcony. Getting some nice frags, nice damage. Make it a lot easier for his team to move in, try and get some defuses going, but no luck so far. Rico gets a double kill. Bomb's gonna go off. Yep. Nice. Second stage we go. So, seven and a half minutes for the second stage. Obviously very doable. No issues here. First stage probably shouldn't have taken that long though. It's showing a little bit of a little bit of weakness from all players, I think. Pretty surprised that first push actually failed. So that, yeah. They actually absolutely smashed atmosphere. Yeah, they caught them off guard straight up. Nothing atmosphere can do, and then 
They blended a little bit of overextension. Someone got a bit fire hungry. Impression not moving away from this aura. It's pretty set on it. Their entire team just outside sort of the elevator. Jake it takes out Rico. An atmosphere's well slashed out because they know they spawn back now. Yep. That's about what you expect around at that blue corner anyway though. Nothing too special went on there. It's pretty hard to hold these days. Everyone playing so well. Tongue's on his um, sparks as well. Yeah, so what's the point if you're gonna play a Sparks? Why don't you keep JT in? Sparks Prodigy. Maybe pressure's calling for them now, but I'd, I'd figured that they'd keep that on D-Man, so they did pretty well first map. The D-Man won't ever let someone else call for him. Look. He's a nade by no name, but he gets tk Picks up three Ooh. for his trouble. Yeah, pockets down, and uh, they're both long, are they? Oh no, uh, just yellow. yellow yeah. Smacks Rico in the face, and he's down for mm. 10. That's a very important frag. Are they getting anything from it? Lemon goes down, he won't... No, I don't think No Name will have time for a slow play. They've got the floodgates yet? Yeah, they have. And gas tunnels built. So I feel like most players focus too much on getting frags in instead of position. So, um, I can't remember who it was, but someone like the, the guy that killed Rico, instead of falling back on the site and trying to help his team regain some position and give uh, like everyone an advantage to plant, they just went around looking for frags and just got themselves killed basically. It was pretty bad. Very bad play. They did excellent work to take control off of atmosphere and then just gave it back to them. Which is actually on sniper. Oh. What's happening? Tongue's going for a slow plant for the sniper spot. Seems like a bit of miscommunication they were both trying to plant then. You don't want two people in the same same spot, especially against Rico. Uh, tongue would have been closer to planning it, because Jake had showed up late. It seems like Atmosphere trying to get a push up here to stop the sniper from being so prominent. Crush gets caught off guard. Not much <laughs> communication going on there. He just gets casually side raged. Yep. They have put out the Arty from D Man, he's sitting right at the back. Ooh. It's actually why I prefer Kira for this, because that guarantees like 7 seconds or yeah, whatever it on it. Yeah, it just sits there, yeah. But they oh. still get it regardless. That was a good half. Good half by both players. Yeah, they struggled quite a... a bit on the first part. Hmm. After what looked like a very easy first plant. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say Atmosphere would do very well on the first objective and not so great on the second, so... Which could probably balance out against what Wolfblade is doing at the moment. But Underground is just such a random map. Both objectives can just go either way so quick, no warning. Just depends on how good you are at punishing mistakes, how quickly you capitalise on it. Here we go! So excited. Pressure's still on that aura for defense. And, well, Jake is not gonna give up his Fletcher anytime soon. Yeah, that's fair enough. He plays a lot better than the other two NGs. A lot of yellow dominance here. D Man gets caught off guard, doesn't have a medic with him for some reason. 
Good old. Well, the whole team went yellow, actually. Yeah. Lemon's down for 20 seconds. Rico goes down for 15. Got three on roof now. You're greeted by no name and tongue. I like the fact that they're trying to go for position here over an instant plant, but it doesn't seem to work out too well for them. Oh, Becky kills himself. Takes ice man in as well. Ah, uh, yellow. Ah, oh, sorry. And then doesn't recognize. Yep. Also takes out Rico. Iceman tries to back rage and gets greeted by their entire team. The atmosphere just got gauntleted. Rico got a uh, no name nade to the head. Tried to take on Jake over at high ammo racks. Man trying to get some free damage on from the side there. Works out pretty well. This atmosphere is so fixated on the people of balcony and the roof. We're good. Oh, actually, Iceman's on Rhino. I don't want to watch too much of him because of that bloody stupid sound bug. Not too sure what he plans on doing with Rhino. He's, he's a big guy, he can handle anything. Yeah, I mean, outside of an aura station, though, he's not the greatest character. Not the greatest mech. I guess. That must be a felt like their medics were dying too often. So, they're like, well, I mean, if our mech's gonna die, instead of having. You know, a character that's not gonna fucking heal, put out more damage with it. They do get a plan off though. The two top. players left to defend though. Yeah, we got the big guy coming oh. in. Oh, I see him. Doesn't. Nice man gets outskilled. Oh, send that one. Hey. Must be having a pretty struggle here. Yeah, he's giving up the rhino, he can't handle the big guy. Too too much skill involved. Too much weight on his shoulders, am I right? Yeah. Well, players is all but down until you know, you get another plan off, Rico picks up a double nade. And also an M4 kill. Definitely a lot better start than the last plant was. If everyone's still alive, they can actually get a formation going here, get a setup for a proper defense. They got a free 20 seconds on that just because they long spawned everyone. Yeah, they sit in the roof, making sure that D-Man can't do any behind shenanigans then. At least he made spawn though. Yep. M takes out Rico. Gets a revive though. Good news for Sphere. No name and tongue are done. Seems like the first objective is finally going to be done here. Uh, takes Iceman with him. Bah. Who needs him? All you need is Max. Yep. Bit of Max, bit of yellow. Got bullets for you. Ooh, Jake is getting super aggressive here, trying to set up a sticky bomb trap. Didn't know we were playing TF2. Yeah. Does he get impatient? Indeed he does. Pays off though. Still gets a frag out of it. Look how disgusting this is. He's just casually shooting from up high. Rico's ready to break down in tears, I can hear him from here. I could probably go in there, General, just to hear him. But I won't. <laughs> I'd like to point out that Tongue is using that weird SMG, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, SMG 9. 
Yeah, it looks like the BR-16. And all the wolf players slash out, knowing that atmosphere now spawned forward. Mm hmm Smart play. Some teams like to start holding from the bottom of escalators, but... Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't suit your team. That's a... Oh, that was gonna be a triple. Come on, Rico, pull it together. Jacob picks up two. Lemon picks yeah. up two as well. Well, they're pulling his weight. All of atmosphere doing well here in the duels. Lemon trying to overextend a bit there. I feel like with so much time left on the respawn, he shouldn't have uh, peaked out so far, especially without team to help him in control. Room. been tried for a slow plant, now he's going to be put on a long spawn. Uh, he's going to do it in an awful spot behind the, uh, the middle section. I guess no one plans on playing sniper, maybe? Atmosphere sniper? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Lemon's too confident with the spawn sniper on this map. Let's say we're intending to hold it from um, uh, the generator room. I'm just shooting oh, across. Yeah. To be honest, I think Sparks is a pretty good way to heal, uh, to cover the bomb if you're gonna hold from yellow, instead of a sniper. You run your rest of your team main, you just have two people in yellow. With a Sparks. This player's taking a fair bit of damage here. Yeah, well, this player takes out no name. Uh, medic for a Frager, which is, I'd say, worth it. Yep. I'd agree. There's Rico. He's in secondary. He's, he just seems to be having a hard time. Just yeah. not hitting anything. Like, he put out a really impressive amount of damage there, but because he got no kills out of it, it doesn't really matter. Must be because he's on stream. Yep. Have a med pack. He always did underperform when he streamed, just, uh, just pointing that out. Must be that old 20 ping jump that he talks about, you know? Uh, atmosphere should only have about four more solid attempts here to go, four good pushes, so they're gonna have to try and start making the most of it. Got two in the secondary at the moment. Tongue's about to get smashed. Where'd he go? Oh, his medic left him. Jake goes down. No, never mind, he gets revived. Lemon's down and gibbed for 15. Max on Fletcher. Thinks he's JK. I'm sure he has a picture of JK on his uh on his roof above his bed. <laughs> Falls asleep to it every night. Held up by thumbtacks that look like little sticky bombs. We have four going gas tunnel at the moment, Nice man distracting people at a uh, sniper tunnel. Wicked I mean, decides he wants to peek first without any medics near him. Works out though. Sorta. Of. Currently two down. And Atmosphere's... Well they lost their energy just then, it's down in good, but they still have max. Uh, the healing station put in work as well, Jake is still up and running around. That's the end of that bush. Yeah, that was a good cleanup. In between No Name and JK, that was really good. Good effort. Yeah, <laughs> struggling to get some ammo through that window for No Name, though. Doesn't need ammo. He's got nades. It's Frager. Yeah, exactly. Who does he think he is? Entitled brat. Seth is out of here. He's done kicking. Unreffing. Yep, is that enough? Just in time to leave to so he doesn't have to watch bridge. <laughs> Tongue takes out Rico from the other side of the map, but he also takes out Lemon. And the clock is basically saying that this map is over. Yeah, basically. So I think the bomb's like 45 seconds, isn't it? Something like that. 50, I believe. Not 50. So yeah, this map's well and truly done then.
Unless Max gets a plan down right now, which is highly unlikely given his current situation. Yeah, he's just chilling in the gas. Getting those fumes. It's running out, so you can get something done. Oh, he's gonna actually get a plant here, but the clock ticks to 49 just as it goes down, so it may have been just not enough time. Are we running on the splash damage over time, Will? I think that only works for the first round. Ah, uh, okay. I think. I'm well, actually, yeah, no, that would make sense because the bomb would go off after the time that um, Wolf player's got anyway, so overtime wouldn't even make sense there. Max takes out no name. Takes a minute on the sniper. And he drops tongue. Trying to be a bully. So there's no bully zone. Iceman picks <laughs> up a triple with Nader. Yeah. That's that. That's Ooh, the score is now tied 1 1. Oh, Rico going negative. Have you seen that before? Well, he's benched. Yep. Get the field in. <laughs> Dad field. Just use crouch. Field will actually be Can't my move. legal guardian, as per 2016, even though I'm older than him. Walking actually doesn't uh, make you any quieter. That was a pretty cool map to watch, a lot of action. Yep, Dfield says he wants to sub in for Rico. Contract has been signed. That's it. He is now in sequential gaming. I wonder if um, Wolf players are going to do the old switcheroo again. Sub players left and right. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh sweet, I got a box. Oh nice. Can't wait to open that and get my lead. You're getting the... Oh, yeah. I have actually... I've got a Cobalt from one of the regular cases, but it was a BR-16 Skyhammer. I actually got the best loadout. Well, Sky Hammer from a regular case after getting thrashed by Atmosphere. So that was a good win for me. Yeah. Worth it. It was all that RNG manipulation during the match you did. Yeah, I just, you know, got into SD's ear and said, you want me to fix the game? Give me a Cobalt. <laughs> they haven't let me fix the game yet. How many people do they even have working on the game? It feels like production slowed down pretty, pretty much to a halt after they um, released the game. Like, the little tweaks can be done by the game designers. I guess only the anti-cheats there for the core programmers. It's not a uh, big company. I'm not looking like EA or whatever size. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of them were working on Gears of War, which is a, a bigger source of income for them at the moment. Oh really? They work with Gears of War? Yeah, the remaster version. Ah, uh, okay. V verbatim headset, that's worth it. 80 cent burger rings? I'll take that deal now. Splash damage kind of remind me of Raven Software, and that they like just get hired to do little, little projects for bigger companies quite a bit. Rest in peace, peace, Raven. Rip. Oh, Christ, we're going to the bridge. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, where's my scotch? <laughs> It'll be lights out by the end of the map.
As long as the first objective doesn't take too long, it might be bearable. Plus the first and the third objectives are just so bad. Yeah, I don't like where the tank is placed at the moment. Yep. And they didn't want it in the original spot, which is, which was just in front of the ramp where allies go over it. Oh yeah. Well, that would have been a cool spot. Yeah, because they were getting it built too fast. So. They so While they mess around, let's put that image back up. Uh, bridge is alright. Uh, the first phase is garbage, and the second, uh, the third phase for all yeah, defenders is garbage. complaining about how the objective is really hard, the first one, but Bernard's trying to say that. Havana proven that the first objective is shitty, but I mean not shitty, but if you use an arty, there's another place that you can place the healing station if you still want to go the healing station rhino combo in front green where it can't be hit by arty, and then you have to go back to Skyhammer to airstrike it anyway, so you still end up with the same problem. The arty the arty combo does not actually solve it at all. Yeah, I see a lot of the uh, airstrikes go, like, land right beside the tank now, rather than, uh, where is it, Red Van, I believe, towards the back. Yeah. Where the, well, where No Name will play from. Yeah, so the original strategy on this map for attack was to, so I'm eating lollies, um, was to airstrike Red Van, where the fraggers usually play with their medic. And you force the fragger away from there so you gain street control. And then you basically just take back green and then you try and repair the um, EV and force the rhino out from hiding. But these days it's easier to just airstrike next to the EV because the um, airstrike actually comes through the roof and goes into back green where the healing station is put. The counter to that these days is to pick up the healing station once you hear the airstrike and put it down next to the uh, on the other side of green and just hold it until the airstrike's finished and hope that the rest of your team doesn't suck. Yeah, try and put your, if you're putting images out, put them on the imager. Otherwise people just assume you're putting viruses in chat. Like me. Another strategy that you could do against atmosphere specifically is make it feel like they're steamrolling you. They get really aggressive. And um, they'll make plays such as the max pushing into staircase and like up onto the bridge as the rhino. And you just all run through office and just, <laughs> just run straight to the EV, just avoid it completely. But I feel like they, they probably wouldn't do something like that in a finals game. It's just something we've encountered in scrims. Yep, here's JT back. So they are sub and tongue. And Yellow's internet's been pulled. I think he's changing classes, yeah. Apparently he needs to buy the class. Oh. <laughs> Atmosphere currently asking a player of the other team um, what is the best aura class. Crash has the ability to provide incorrect information here. Oh, he is the only decent aura. Correct. It's true because um, players that can aim play the other meta class instead. No need for aura. He's <laughs> got that old man aim. Getting arthritis. <laughs> Hey man, Max has old man aim. He just um, compensates for it with ridiculous strafing. It's because like... he misses there to cheer him on. <laughs> Little bonbons made out of tea towels. You can do it.
I've always wondered what atmosphere would be like if they um, if they swapped Max and Rico in terms of the class that they played. Rico wouldn't play support. He can't. <laughs> it's actually impossible for him to do that. If he's not killing, he's well, he's probably DC'd from the server. That's fair enough. He doesn't have the mental capacity to help his team out. Well, he played he wants to kill everything. Played a Rambo med in ET. Because he didn't <laughs> want to help his team. <laughs> kind of like haste. Well, haste was there. Actually had like, a syringe bound at least. Rico <laughs> didn't have a syringe bound? Ah, he probably did. He just never used it. <laughs> Come on, fuck. Atmosphere trying to make up strategies on the fly. See how that works out for them. 11 o'clock and we're only on the third map. Yep. Some people have got to work. We actually all do got to work. Not even in correct statement. Hello, Allowance. Has your sickness faded? I'm always sick with something. God damn it. Get down with the sickness. Yeah, Vol. Okay, but well, I can't wait to see some sick rhino action. Best class in the game. Yep, we're not going to run a red eye this time, apparently. And we have four snipers on the attackers. I think snipers is better than one, though, isn't it? It's all going to take turns by shooting Rico in the head. Favourite pastime of everyone. It's pretty satisfying because the fragger hitboxes are massive, so he's, he's so easy to snipe. Oh, that bloody backpack if you try and shoot him from behind, though. Yeah. It's even worse on Thunder. It goes well above his head. It's the same as in Counter-Strike. Because, um, if you're, like, aiming at the ground, when you're behind the person that is aiming at the ground, you like, can't hit him in the head properly. It's kind of dumb. I haven't played it CS in years. Don't mind That's watching fine. it every now and then. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of playing CSGO, but it's pretty fun to watch. So we have map 3 on... What map is this? It's bloody bridge. It's one yeah. wolf from each team. We have wolf players with Nader, Fletcher, Sparks, Fragger, and Sawbones. Atmosphere is running Bushwhacker, Aura, Fragger, Sawbones, and Max on Rhino. Fucking Rhino. Good, um... The name JT is back on Sparks, trying to be a bit of a pest. He was actually employing a strategy that I usually like to do with Sniper. But anyway. Miss everything shot? Yeah. Stuff. A lot of trades going down here, but for defense, the trade is always better. So. Attack need to get some more Gibbs in if they want to start pushing it's EV. D-Man and JT up in the office at the moment. Pressure's on main road, no name gets taken out. J-Kid is in stairwell. Max out skilling people. With this very high skill cap class. Actually gets there taken out because he's bad. Nah, he's not that bad. Oh. The, um, the wolf player's doing a very good job here, actually. It's three down, or two down. That rhino wasn't gibbed. Yeah, that's a very interesting... Decision. Pretty sure he took the swing at him and he just missed. Oh, I guess Max did outskill them then. They went to be put on a long spawn. There we go, now he's gibbed. 
He requires two of his teammates to go down. Okay, yeah. just push them. We got two chilling in front front road at the moment, moving towards stairwell. Oh, One thing Rico loves to do on this map, on the first objective, is if um if attack gets wiped out completely, he will actually just wander into your half of the map, like the attack half of the map, into the street somewhere, and just pre-nade someone and then run away. So dirty. Big kid takes out Max again and cubed. Big guy has a big walk ahead of him. We're all pushing onto the tank at the moment. Where's Lemon? There you are. Both engines are gibbed. Wait, wrong team. Team ends not gibbed. Jake had a bit of a struggle there. Had to fight against the aura, the healing station, and the turret at the same time. Tank is just underbuilt. Probably got another couple seconds left on it. Yep. Wolf players haven't done too bad so far in this first objective. Fresh takes out Iceman. Got a bit of a push through main road. Hello, they Rana. are definitely going for the the classic ignore the Rhino strat though, which is typically the best thing to do. When you've got someone like Max on Rhino who just minces everybody if you try and fight them, you just try and ignore the Rhino and just get as much repair as you can on the EV and try and do it over multiple waves instead of breaking through atmosphere in one go. Oh, see Iceman? Max retreats into his hidey hole. Take it takes out yellow though. Not you, but well, Jake it also takes out JT. D-Man's chilling around the front, he just tries to run in and get a build on the tank, but gets taken out halfway. Looks like they're just gonna bum rush the tank, perhaps. D-Man gets back raged by well, Max again. And JT, who was peppering people from the railway track, gets yep. killed as well. Let's see if Rico does any cheeky stuff here. I think he's sitting around office. Still wants to try and go for an early grenade here at some point. I don't know how many will get it because he's a piece of shit. It's J Kid and D Man out of the picture for. Oh, what was that? That was on 15 seconds, wasn't oh. it? Before? Yep. Yeah. I just managed to destroy by JT then, by the way. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> Takes out yellow. Ooh. This should be a certain repair, surely, for wolf players now. Getting rid of the run on the aura station. Yep. Nice there we body go. blocking. Now they'll push up. There's no name there, huh? Against us, atmosphere usually just still try and push and kill the tank up top, but um. I don't think they'll do that against wolf players, I'll just try and get the barriers done and then just defend like normal on bottom street. Max is running a uh, Rhino still. So I actually called you lot out for doing last time, so I thought it was a low skill mm. idea. It's not ideal because Rhino has really bad range yeah. and um, it's pretty common to just kill the the charge with um, grenades now. So the Rhino can't do anything against that. I think it might have been caught off spawn, perhaps. Oh, I think yeah. it happened to you lot as well. Yeah, I didn't want to class. So I didn't want to tap to change class conflicts and shit. Pretty poor communication by us on that. <laughs> no, no, it takes out Rico. So he's going up to high ammo racks now. Demon gets taken out. Takes out on revival. He takes out lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yellow! Getting double kills and I can't watch. 
Let's yeah, get get some knife kill. Probably, eh? Who never gets <coughs> again? Fuck. <coughs> All right, remind me to swallow my lollies before I try talking. Mm -hmm. Right, I've recovered. Thanks, Still man. good. Oops, I'm not playing medic, so I can't revive you. <laughs> <laughs> Rico picks up a triple nade. Yeah, it's a four down there. That's pretty insane work. That's the Rick everyone's used to. That everyone hates. Thanks a lot. We got all the wolf players going through the right side of the sick of going through the alleyway. It seems. Yeah, Max getting very aggressive now. Doesn't want to sit in the room. I think this is a good idea. Actually, let's him fight with his team. The barrier goes down, which fortunately I didn't notice because we don't get messages in, in Spectator. Awesome, love that. Reloaded. And then taking some hits from Bridge. I like holding bridge on defense there, like all around the top. Yeah, I like it towards the end. After that, uh, before that, it's I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. You got two coming from generator room across. Navy's down, is it? Yep. Yeah, so they strike it, grenade it, whatever. You know what, this actually isn't too bad of a delay. The atmosphere doing a pretty good job. Tank could be in a little bit further up, that way they could get every single angle on it, but it's good yeah. enough. Ooh, did he got... Oh no, sorry, I thought he got long, but three spawn time was alright. Oh, now he's dealing back the damage. Yellow gets dropped by bloody JT on his sparks. Yeah. Hit, he got hit three times in a row by Sarks, just one, two, three. So annoying. Max gets caught off guard. At least it was on a short spawn. D Man's just farming that XP sitting on the tank. Yep, that's what he's here for. I heard that if you have a lot of cases, you get a lot of girlfriends, so he just wants more girlfriends. Girlfriends? Just yeah. pay for them. No, oh, you can do that as well. No, the tank actually doesn't get broken from that airstrike, although it's... If you hit it just once, it will. But, uh, okay, maybe more than once. <laughs> That'd be annoying for us, yeah. Right, now we're on to the most exciting objective. Rico gets picked off for 10 seconds. They may as well just push now. Before uh, Max spawns his Rhino or anything. Yeah, exactly like what they're another doing. Another knife kill. Gets two knife kills. Yep. Or no his name. awesome hitboxes. No name's just gonna chill at the front door. Max still choosing not to respawn as a Rhino, it seems. Thank God. He knows I don't like it. Oh, I've lied to you. God damn it. Look what you did. Yep. Blame you for this. Well, sometimes you gamble and lose. Rico's just chilling at the MG that overwatches the main door, but no name already knows he's there. Cause he heard his footsteps on the wooden floor. As Rico didn't die that night, he took damage but didn't die. Right next to him. Yep. Rico get picks off too. Did okay. no name not communicate Rico's position then to everyone? Like yeah. Rico should not have gotten any kills then. Yeah, D Man was on his way up, but his team no. just pushed up before he could get up there. Max playing my favourite spot in Australia. So much skill involved in this. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't going to work out for you, but mm. not. Yellow gets another knife kill. 
Max had enough of yellow as well, get out of my way. Nice men's turn. JG just sitting at front door, zapping everyone who comes through. Could possibly go in the long spawn here. Yeah, and he does indeed. Mm hmm. Not good news. You definitely want five players to push into this. Even with a pick, you still would prefer 5v4. You got two heading the back way. I oh know three now, three through the. Uh, I guess you can call that garden, and he almost TKs his entire team. Jake gets inside, but he doesn't pick anyone up. Rico picks up a double nade. Yeah. The fragger and the nader need to work together here. What we like to do against Atmosphere, which seems to work pretty well, is you send an NG and a, um, a medic to the left side from attacker's perspective and um, you use the turret to try and act as like, you know, three players and then you send the fragger and the nader through the main gates and you basically throw a nade on one side of the um, of the rhino and then you use the nader's grenades on the other side and you're almost guaranteed to kill the healing station every time Okay Normally I would just rebound nader rounds off the window into the nader station yeah, the, the good part about using the two, the Fragger and the Nader combo at the same time is you, you can kill the Aura as well if they get too confident. But they do have a push here. Yeah. Now Seems get like this. they use Fletcher instead to kill the healing station. We will get this first documents. And uh, Atmosphere might interrupt him. Ooh, he Delayed. actually gets down at a long spot. Delayed him for a bit. Nice when pays in return. That's still one document in. Rico's not even in the building at the moment. Oh, oh they've Max already attacked him. Someone. Hey, Rico came from the side and took him out. Well, Atmosphere could get some players long here if I don't care. Lemon goes down, but I have a set of steam in. Ooh, Max almost got caught off guard there, but the aura comes to save the day, deals the extra damage. Nice come behind the medic, one of the medics. Someone JT else gets longed again, he's letting this happen too often. Should never let a medic go into combat first. Something we always try to tell Zero. I am good with my hands, you would. Jake it's trying to come through backyard, but it's gonna get caught out. And that's the end of this round. Yep. So bloody last phase everyone's having issues with. It's just tough. It's too tough. The, all the choke points are too small. Pressure going on casual 721. Yep. Expected. We go 4623. What no name go? Negative 2127. And D-Man on 1129. Not the greatest for a one of the engineering players. Should be expecting more frags on them. It's a pretty expected first half though. You have your big struggle on the first objective, you do okay on the second objective, then your big struggle on the third. The atmosphere actually did a, a little bit better than I expected on the second objective, so props to them for that. As far as I know, they only need to... No, they do need to deliver both. They can only deliver one for a draw. Yeah. Same setups. Uh, D man's on Rhino this time with pressure on order again. Awesome, yeah. nothing I love better than a good Rhino. And Lemon's on Fletcher this time instead of Max, who's on Skyhammer. JT at Red Van with the 
Reviver. Oh, he's moving away now. Their whole team went on to railway. Except for Iceman, who's currently in office. He's going to try and find out where people are. No name nades himself, but luckily doesn't give himself. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with this position JT's playing. He can actually get caught off guard very quickly here. Yeah, do get stopped in their tracks here. Um, Rico's just gonna put a little bit of repair on the tank. Yeah, that's still fine. For a first push, getting anything done to the EV is great. If anything, Wolf players should be still a little bit rattled by that. The first push is generally the easiest to hold. They use that airstrike as well, and Rico gets demolished. And Max Yellow and Lemon both took a nade from No Name. So they're gonna have to sit out for a moment while they heal up. Ooh. Rico takes out No Name. JT and Ice Man are exchanging shots then as sparks. It was zoning airstrike. And JT getting caught by Rico here, but Rico for some reason not winning the fight. That's a great thing. Nice man opts to try and hold the control instead of tapping out. Yeah, he might change it up soon. Like I said, he's not not very good at sparks. Yeah. It feels like Atmosphere aren't playing around having a sparks either. You don't you want to keep all your fights in mid green and back green so that sparks can keep reviving from office because she's not she's too squishy to be sent into battle with everyone else. Okay, pushing red, getting stomped by a D man and um, Jake there. And we got Lemon on the front of the tank repairing it. Does get picked up, but his tank's just above halfway now. Yep. He's doing good work there. Lemon's gonna do a bit more on it. Why is man not there to keep resing it though? I'm not sure what's up with that. Went to go get some ammo instead for some reason. Yeah. But, I think they just gave up that tank. They're not even just shooting at a wall then, is something happening with this connection? And the wall deserved it. Yeah, well, shouldn't have spoke back then. Iceman just completely runs past the engineer building the, the barricade. Jake and Knife's Rico. Oh, nice. Slow plan on the barrier. Yeah, going for the bomb instead of just blowing it up. I'll probably do both, although Iceman gets taken out by an airstrike, I think. No, a sticky bomb. Yeah. Issue with this is that the they focus too much on trying to get the uh, the barriers fixed before the EV was anywhere near the bottom. I should have established shop control instead. And then takes it off Iceman's head. Yeah, if they all. Oh, I wouldn't suggest they all start shooting at the barrier just yet, not until the tank's closer. Yeah, Once. exactly. Because if the barrier goes down and the, the EV is still a little bit left to go, they can just repair the barrier. Exactly. We're making sure the tank is in position. The wipe on us here. What's that airstrike? Oh, now it's coming out. The barrier is already down. Ooh. It's a triple airstrike, at least. Yeah. D Man somehow survived his fight as well, thanks to the Aura Station. more forward than they usually do. They should. What about this far forward though? They're basically spawn camping at this point. 
I think they still spawn in the regular spot, which is under the green part, I think. For now. Uh, still playing there. Yeah, all players doing a good job here. Until now. Yeah, when, when the spawn moves up. What are you doing, idiots? Says Rico. <laughs> He's had enough. It goes on full tilt now. Yep. Wolf players is in his head. I was actually talking to Rico last night about how we used to be raging kids. And uh, we both used to unbind our all chat keys in our respective games. I used to Seems do like that he as might well. need to do this again. <laughs> I probably should still do it. <laughs> Airstrike on tank. It's directly on it. it still Ooh, survives just it, barely though. though. Nice fight. Got... Sorry. Got the wrong angle. Lemon goes down for a long spawn. That tank should be broken just underneath the uh, walkway. JT's doing a good job of keeping everyone alive with the sparks until he goes down then. This guy's going to be put on long spawn if he's not careful. Mm. Oh, he's going to have to repair the tank. Until JT comes around and drops him. Oh, Ice Man's still in Sparks, eh? Poor Engineer just got crosswired from everywhere. Max also Ooh. repairing the tank. Ice Man got flanked by Jacob. No long spawn, though. I feel like he should have waited for that. Could have been a pretty impressive play. Max needed into Oblivion. Jacob executes Rico, Ruffle. Tank atmosphere and another wipe. I feel like they'd be, they'd be feeling the heat about now. Tank has been repaired, but the airstrike should be available now. Under the bridge though, isn't it? They need to wait for it to move out. Uh, it's just out now. If they get the right angle on it. No name takes out yellow. Yeah, it only just survived. Mm. Now they're just shooting it down. Knife it! Knife! Yeah, yeah knifing it's always the best bet. So much damage. And I think this delay is actually going to make sure that Atmosphere have to do the third objectives now. Got your med pack right here. Are they tapped, so they're giving up the tank now, I think. I guess they're not. I don't understand why no name tap then, unless he had no ammo or something. No, they got a field up, so that shouldn't be an issue. Oops. Just an absolute slaughter on this stairwell. Yeah. This player's putting in a tremendous effort here. They've got a lot of fragging power with these players at the moment. This is just all over the shop at the moment. Yeah. It was like, it looked like two people were trying to repair the EV at the same time. Seems like they got some communication issues. Maybe someone stopped talking altogether. Or well, they can't hear each other over Rico. Right now, I think it'd be Iceman raging them. <laughs> Yeah, this is very tough. Make the start getting move on right now. There we go, there goes Presh. Although Presh rolls down the stairs so we can't get gibbed. Very tactical of you, Presh. This is well thought out. Part yep. of his plan. Yep. Because he has all that genius 34 year old experience. There we go, now the tank's in position. We'll save five minutes on the clock. Yeah, so they have to get both objectives here for this map not to be a draw. They have to get one for a draw of the sleep. 
they want to run straight in, they're going to get punished straight up. You got Lemon who ran in through the back. Oh, I think he went through the back. Well, that should be one. Yeah, I don't see anyone else nearby. They're doing the hard side first, which is the mm. garage. Yep. Setting the spawns are so long, that's perfectly viable. Oh, Rico gets oh. an insane grenade. That's actually going to guarantee them this map, I think. Oh. Uh, JT is the best player in the universe, apparently. Yep, there we are. Now he's delivering it. Yep. That's map 3 to atmosphere. Wow. So, similar to map 1 where it was like, you know, atmosphere seemed all over the shop and then one nice play and the map just ends straight up. Yeah, that, that was game winning, that uh, three man nade. Fresh rage quits the game. Yeah, he's had enough. Too old for this, he has to go to bed. Rico on 73 for 45, not bad. It's an average day for Rico. Still not a KD of two though, I'm not impressed. I did say he was on the bench. Dayfield was going to replace him. Yep. Dadfield too, no? I wonder if they're subbing pressure for Tung, actually. You'd think Tung would supposed to be in bed by now, he's still in high school. Got the day off tomorrow. Does he actually? I don't know. I hope so. Because that means I probably would as well. So for anyone that doesn't hasn't been watching since the start, Atmosphere are currently up two maps to one. Um, there's time for Wolf players to choose the fourth map, and it's a best of five, so it's the first of three three maps. Dongo, you won't even play Rocket League with us. You're not ready. While we wait, while we wait for the uh, for the pick map, I'll put the waiting screen up again. Yes, I love overlays. Yeah, and I won't bloody forget it this time. That's good. I like that oh, other game I casted. This is the only reason I'm casting. Get these sick cases. Thanks Phil for the overlay, or Volta. Chenny deciding that he no longer wants to watch the cast and he'd rather play H1Z1. Don't oh. agree with this. Oh, he's kicked. Yeah, good thing we have a sub who is now going to be core. Uh, according to Steam, Yellow is still in CSGO. Must be playing it in the background. Oh, apparently I lost connection to Steam. Dfield has PM'd me to inform me that my cast sucks. Then said Lamaui and Oont. That's alright. Um, this has affected me quite deeply. Alright, I sucked worse. I'm just reading the kill log mostly. And stating the obvious. Yeah, that's the fun part of casting. And getting crates. Oh yeah. Mooching off of Gabe Newell. Come on, pick a map. Wolf players doing the casual, or the classic rather, pick players, pick map, take 20 minutes for both strategy. Just to get into Rico's head, because I know that Rico wants to play right now.
Zeph has had enough, wants him to pick him up as well. I've got quite the headache at the moment, so I mean, I would also like them to pick them up. That would be exciting. What have we got left? Train Yard and Terminal. Yep. Train Yard is the more exciting map out of the two, I'm going to say. Terminal is nice, but only on the second objective. The first objective sucks. The second one's pretty fun. For which Whereas map? For Terminal. Hey. For Train Yard, I like all three objectives. It's just. There's a couple of defensive styles that are really hard to break if you don't have all five of your attacking players on point on on train yard. Gets a bit tough. And we'll play as play uh choose terminal. And now we wait for him to finally join the bloody teams. Yep. Let's go, let's go. It's almost midnight, fellas. Well, not for us, man. Or Max. Ah, they don't count. <laughs> Still early hours for them. That's why they wanted the match to, to be so late, so they had the advantage. Nice man shouts out to Rizmo, who actually can't see the shout out because of the overlay. So I'm being a bloke right now. Nice hey. man's going to PayPal me five dollars for this later. There you go, Turismo. It's on stream. Yep. Tell me about it, Hexen. Slower Sweetie than D-Man, then we can get started. Slower than Tog readying up. There we go. Actually, I don't even know what to expect on Terminal, to be honest. Both teams just seem to be... Like... They're just on when they want to be, and then... They can get caught off guard at the same time. So, don't know what to expect, I don't know. What their strategies are anymore. I haven't played Atmosphere on Terminal for weeks now. And that's why you're lost, isn't it? You didn't practice enough. Nah, we actually planned on banning Terminal, so we just never played Terminal against them. We actually right. lost because I'm a dog and I moved houses and I couldn't play the game for two and a half weeks. Oh shit. Yeah, the casual bloody removed list getting a free computer. Yeah, man. They scored big with me. Can I update the score? How many maps is Atmosphere 1 2? Two? 2, yeah. yeah. 2 to 1 in favour of Atmosphere. Oh, we're doing the classic two sniper strat. I haven't seen this since so. my pub games. <laughs> oh man, the free Vasily week was actually gave me AIDS. Yeah, I don't play the game when that's on. Same with Rhino.
We have Joe Kidd on a sniper this time. And all well, the rest look the same. D Man on Field Ops, Sparks on JT on Sparks, no name Fraga, Tongue Sawbones, Lemon yep. Bushwhacker. Joe Kidd decides that he'd rather Fletcher, which is fair enough. Having an NG is good for planting bombs. Fair enough. Uh, Rico, Nader, uh, Nader, Fraga. I think he's struggling to make this jump, but eventually does it. Jake gets taken out straight away. D Man TK has Jake it though. Yeah, kills Max as well, but not enough because Tom can't do anything here. Yeah. Frico's M pitches are just a bit too high, so he loses that fight. <laughs> It seems like all players aren't doing anything too special here. They're just trying to annoy Max with the Fletcher bombs and then. Oh, okay, I don't agree with this. Jake Kidd just going Rambo. Does kill Lemtron, but no Gib means that. It's probably not worth too much. We've got one in. well, two in office. And yeah, gets long spawn. One just chilling up at the apartments. Jake Kidd's, Jake Kidd's decided he wants a sniper, probably to deal with Iceman, I'd imagine. This is a really hard position to play oh. with Sniper though, because Iceman can still challenge baggage without even being visible to okay, the Sniper. That, that, uh, that upper area is pretty ridiculous. I'd yep. love to play up there if I was like, capable of jumping the, the wall. Yeah, I can't do it either. I'm a sped. Max picks, so, up two, Max picks up three with his airstrike. Yeah, the good old... Inaudible airstrike. I don't know how Max does it, but he's found this. He's found the way to just distract everyone from hearing or seeing his airstrikes, and it, it works every time. It really annoys me. Classic Max exploiting yep. the game. Yeah. We can take that D man. Not getting any angle on uh, Rico though, up on the balcony. Yeah, I'm glad D-Man has switched to Nader though. I feel like Nader is underused a lot on this map. Very easy to zone players with those grenades. And you got heaps of wide open space to fire from. Rico dispersing of JT. Jake in trades him. This is an easy shot on Max though. It does take him quite heavily though. So he does get healed up in return. Takes out Lehman in return. This ragdoll is going crazy for me then. Trying to cap the forward flag, and I think they did. Yeah, I think they did. Can't tell, that doesn't tell me. Jakey right just getting smashed by the apartments. Yeah. If you want to attack apartments, it's better to attack from the, the, the top stairs behind him than it is from the, the normal window, because the window you can get attacked from everywhere still. Rico's getting fairly overconfident here, yep, he's gonna pay for it. Yeah. He also takes that lemon. Yeah, that was a nice shot, that one. Bit of a wasted airstrike. Yeah, everyone respawns, j -Kid's kills don't actually go to use, and that's the, the big problem with having a sniper is... Um, He's not a very good utility class, so if you're not getting a key frag and pushing off it, it's essentially playing 4 versus 5. Which is why I don't like playing Sniper too often anymore. Just actually gets rid of Lemtron though, and then go does what he does. Exists. Yep. Actually pushing up to apartments at the moment. Just trying to take out the pe person above luggage, which is Iceman. Well, nice man. I appreciate it. Apparently, that flag's still not captured yet. Wouldn't be too far off it, but no name goes down for a long spawn again. Yeah, it appears like more players are getting out and doing damage, but they're not doing enough damage to just stay alive. Really, the reinforcements are coming too early. They're not working off the clock properly.
I've been setting up the most Jew turret of all time. It's actually very easy to airstrike that one though. Oh yeah, the luggage one. Yep. Oh, Jake kills Max. I have to push off this. I don't have a choice. They've only got four seconds till the respawn. I don't. Uh, Yellow picks up a triple kill. Yeah. This is why I hate playing terminal against atmosphere. The yellow Rico combo is just stupid. Like I'd love to be able to say, oh, this is what Integral Nation do to beat this strategy, but we actually don't get past this objective, so. It's just hard in general, there's not much room to run around. Hmm. Choke points are too... Too easy to cover. Well, it was made for the older version of the game where they didn't have all this extra movement. Lemon picks up a double kill. JT trying to zap everyone. Actually does kill Rico, but he's gonna respawn straight away, so... Ooh, he's gonna get long. Ooh, both medics get longed here. The light, one of them gets picked up by Iceman. That's three down by four wolf players. Frag and medic combos just chilling around apartments. Yep. Yeah, I did expect Rico to start getting aggressive now. Um, once he's feeling comfortable, you'll see him go for a lot of early cheap spawn frags, but this time he overextends himself, which he does have a good habit of doing. Might give all players a bit of an opportunity, but let's see how they go. It's three down for atmosphere at the moment, and we got a plant. The plant's good, but now they need forward spawn. Do they have it yet? Yeah, they're on it. It's also an MG plant. JT oh. takes out yellow. Yeah, JT did nice work there, but now they're all dead. It's just up JK. These not gonna be enough. Yep. So the thing that they forgot about having an MG plant is that it's for MG. That's why it's called the MG plant. And they just sort of gave it up. They all fought on street, died. And then it was pointless, Jake. In, like a sniper's not very good for an MG plan at all. Rico gets a knife kill. Are you clicking a pen or something? Chat's getting them mad about it. Hmm? Are you clicking a pen or something? Oh, sorry. My microphone's really close to my. Um. My mouse, and I use push to talk, so they're probably hearing my mouse. Ah. I'll move it away. Jake? Hopefully that's better. We'll see in a moment. Jake Ed and uh, JT just chilling in the office. Jake Ed decides to leave the office early. We go to apartments. He's had enough with it today, he's going home. Another strenuous night of dirty bum. Actually got control of MD here. Not bad for players. Are they gonna have to get this first objective done soon? Because second objective isn't the easiest either. I mean, it's easier than this one, but it's still not so great. Yellow picks up double, no name and D man. Jake is just chilling up in his in his apartment. Oh, someone left. Yep. No name. Uh, Rico gets another knife kill. And is Rico in the spawn? Oh yeah, that's where yep. they were. No name decides to teabag Rico on his way out. <laughs> May as well, right? Get in his head. Wolf player's got some damage, but they're now they're walking right into reinforcements again, so still not able to get enough done. Iceman keeps Jake it off the MG. Something I'd like to see Wolf players try is to ignore MG. Pretend it doesn't exist. Use an airstrike across um, 
the front of MG and just have everyone run out lobby or something. The airstrike being to block Ricker's vision so he can't just kill everyone as they run out of the door. But, I don't know, probably not going to happen. Yeah, probably not at this point. I think they have the swap to that. Something as set, um, Ascension actually liked doing versus Atmosphere on this was to run a Rhino. So they have the Rhino, the Fragger and a Medic will run up along MG at the same time. Worked out quite well sometimes. Disgusting forever suggesting Rhino. Yeah. Classic Sam 1 strategies for you. Oh, tongue thinking he's better than he is there. Two apartments and three apartments, one lower apartments. Nice rocket jump then, you see how high he went? Ah, missed it. No name gets a knife kill on yellow. Picks up Lemon on his way out. Oh, Max is so low. This would be a pretty key frag if they can give him. Rico goes down for 15, same with yeah, Max. Yeah, that's good. That's really good for the wolf players. It's a little old yellow and he slashes out. Yeah, not much I can do there. But, um, wolf players still never captured forward spawn, so this is actually still heavily in atmosphere's favour here. And I could still see them getting a pretty easy retake on this pump for heaps of time. Yeah, I usually... I'm okay with leaving the spawn on the first time, but definitely not the second. Unless you have an airstrike set up. But it works out for him regardless. No, yeah, it is well. Spawn forward again. So you get caught on this one, they down for quite some time. Now they've got three minutes for the second objective. Now, call me pessimistic, but I don't think this is doable. So what they should do is on their first push, go for some retarded dumb tactic that'll let them get a double plant down and then just try and defend one of them. Jake thinks Sniper's the way to go apparently. Got an airstrike at main. Sniper's alright because it denies Max on the, um, the lower MG. Max, uh, D-Man decides to just run into the airstrike. Yep, that's enough. Got no fear, that guy. Unfortunately, confidence doesn't change how much health points your character has. Ken? I like to think I'm invincible. Yep. Rico takes out two out uh, ammo racks. Right, pocket pair done. That sniper should be taken. Yep, there we go. D Man's making his way around the back while well, he repairs the gas tunnel. Yeah. Nice man has something to say about that, though. No XP for you. You can actually shoot between that gap and the truck there, through that window. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised about the hitboxes in this game. They all seem to be mesh based instead of like actual cubes. Bit of a push going on in the tower here. We got two low, or so three low, and now one sitting up top. D Man gets the plan for the window. Oh, Rico casually shoots people on the MG. Yep. Oh, got a DC to it. I hope so, otherwise my game crashed. Tongue crashed, apparently. Excellent. One of the players crashed, so we're paused. Apparently he crashed, he's there still. So this map is panning out basically how it does versus every team atmosphere. They just hold the first objective for a ridiculously long time, and the second objective is just a bit of a skirmish fest. Everyone just fighting all the time, 
various places, not really any structure. There aren't any really good holds that you can do on these last objectives for this map because they all lose to well placed grenades, so you kind of have to be all over the place, keep everyone guessing. More reactive based defense. It's just so easy to defend if you hold a MG balcony. Yeah, but at the same time, if you've if you've got a lot of um, if like with Fletcher and Fragger, if they both go clock, it's a lot of damage they can deal from there. But I do feel like if you get the bombs down, then the top MG is just like freakishly good to hold the bombs wounds. Now the server's paused, miscellaneous. Someone dropped out. The tournament is in Australia. Oh, tongue's back. Well, that's good. Is tongue actually level 43? I guess so. That is a very high level. That's a lot of gameplay. It's a lot of aura in 8v8. <laughs> Well, that's true, maybe you just use the experience exploit. Probably that too. And off yeah, we go! Yeah, game's back. Max loses the unpause fight, but wins the war with Iceman to pick him up. Tricky takes out Rico on MG. Bob's getting defused. Slow defuse. But nonetheless, it will be gone. More than enough, yep. Got Max on MG here, the usual. Hasn't hey. seen it on there, we'll be looking at hopping off that soon. We got two lower clock tower. And that's no name down for all. No, maid spawn in one. I'm an idiot. Don't say that. Jacob's coming through the gas tunnel while four go through clock tower and I thought one went. No, nope, that's it. Well, oh, Max just got destroyed off oh, from clock tower, yeah, JT. But uh, not enough time on the clock yet to actually get any plants done, so it's just a uh, case whoring at this point. Get some experience. Ice man bats off of no name. He's pretty used to that. Alright, so in order for Wolf players to stay in the game, they have to defend the first objective for a very long time. Something like what, 12 minutes or something they have to do. Nah, a little bit more than that, like 10 minutes, 10, 11. 11 it says it right there, I could have just read the time out. So yeah, that's going to be pretty tough. Atmosphere have really well thought out attacks on this. Um, if you have a player that plays where Max plays, you know, around like the car just behind um, forward spawn, you actually die so often to Rico's grenades, so you have to be really careful on uh, Rico's position and whether he's got nades cocked or not, because if that player dies then MG just gets taken instantly, so it'll be interesting to see if Wolf players really know how to handle the atmosphere aggression, it's very well timed. They're very coordinated, I think. Actually, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if all the atmosphere players just went lobby, but it doesn't seem like they are. Uh, we got four going gas and one's going upper, I think. No, no, he's pushing all the way around to apartments. He's waiting for him to make a distraction. Yeah. Yeah, tons of them did go to baggage. Couldn't do much though. We got two in baggage at the moment, and Max is still chilling around apartments. Usman takes out Tongue. Turn to a good 3v2. Should be careful for long spawns now. Uh, Max didn't airstrike that. Yeah, same. There would have been a certain forward spawn then. 
Oh, this man gets nailed by Jacob. Poor old little left to fend for himself. Couldn't do it. Atmosphere still had the fort spawn though, that's fine for them. They're already in a good position. Fletcher gets taken out, we got D Man above. JT the jumps into the airstrike, I'm not sure about that play. And Lemon's planting the wall now for MG. Yep. I think MG's a very solid place to plant for atmosphere just because Rico is very good with the machine gun. There's solid M pitch levels. And as I say, that JT just shoots him in the head and kills him straight away. Max takes out no name. Drops him. Demon just lunges out the window. Still have one in yellow. JT tried to be a heroic medic and gets long sworn instead. That's the gas tunnel blowing up. Yep. Not and that's wall. gonna be the game. It's not enough time for the, the forward spawn to go and defuse that. That's GG, boys. Boys and girls. Unfortunately, the map still has to be played out. Because that's just how Dirty Bomb works. Uh, unless both players just say so. Yeah, unless they still quit. But yeah, Atmosphere officially win the Cyber Gamer Dirty Bomb Pro Series. Three maps to one against Wolf players. Pretty good games. The waiting times between the games was not, not as good. And we should have relegation games soon, as far as I know, for the bottom few teams of Pro League and the top few teams of Open League. So that should be alright. Oh, cool. I don't know when that's happening. Probably in a week or two, maybe. That'd be sick. There's actually a few teams in Open League that I think would be a pretty good addition to Pro Series. Especially with Care Police, yeah, like not really contributing to the season. It'd be nice to have eight full teams competing next season. Yeah. I'm still not sure if the Integral Nation boys are competing next season or not, but I'm pretty sure I still want to play. Okay. Don't know what's happening with Avant, whether or not they still care for the game. Mm, I think a couple of the players do, like Lush. But, not sure yet. Probably Cater would still like to play, I suppose. Anyway, folks. Yeah, seems like that's it. Players are leaving. Atmosphere win 3 1. Good stuff. And obviously, if uh, people in the chat like some dirty bomb action, make sure you follow Volcado Tron's stream. He does cast it a lot. It's good stuff. Fun game. You should get onto it. Free to play. Get it on Steam. It can be just like Rico.